What's going on everybody? Jay Hayes here. Today I'm be doing a review on a device that I was sent for the purposes of the review. And I actually bought one of these. I'm not quite sure as to why I did. I guess the thing is, I don't know what company this is that's designing these and sending these out. I want to say it's Watofo just because of the stuff that's inside of it. This is a super dainty, super cute mini RTA. There's something about little RTAs that absolutely I adore doing. I guess because it's kind of like a dripper, but it's not. The only problem I have with really small RTAs is that they require a lot of filling over and over and over again. So the capacity of these tanks are 2.3 mils by default the way that they are. They also come with a bubble glass which allows you to bring this up to three and some change mills, which is nice, but usually when I have something as small as this, matter of fact, let me retort. I've never had an RTA that's been as small as this is. It's literally 24 millimeters in diameter and it's 24 millimeters in height. To give you a really good reference point, take the 502, shrink that down by a millimeter and shrink it down in diameter by one more millimeter. That's how small this is. Super, super cute, man. So it's a single coil RTA. Not too difficult to build on. The packaging is really nice. I've been trying for the past hour to figure out what OFRF might mean. The only thing I came up with, ovarian frogs run funny. That's all I got. And I'm not quite sure that has anything to do with this RTA. What makes me believe that this is Watofo is the way that it comes. The packaging, the font, how it's written on the side of the box, the stuff that's inside of the box, the little itty bitty peripheral pouches are all black. I don't know why Watofo would do that because Watofo is such a great company. Like legitimately, it is a very, very good company. And I'm not doing that to suck balls. I'm just saying like the last couple products they've made have been pretty damn good. I'm not going to say that they're amazing, but their profile RDA that they made was really really well done. The machining was pretty good. Maybe it's not Watofo. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about, but you tell me once you see it. So without further ado, let me just bring this down, put a build in it, and give you my final thoughts on the OFRF RTA 2.3 millimeter. Let's flip it. On the side, you get a little attention blurb and then the name of the RTA, manufactured by OFRF. That doesn't rule out the possibility of this still not being made by Watofo because there are companies that have done this before. Copyright 2018. On the other side, your color configuration, name of the tank, everything that's included inside of the box. On the other side of the box, you got a bunch of little gears, a UPC, a scratch and sniff. This is going to be fried Oreo chocolate syrup flavor and scented sticker. Orange fried rhubarb fries. Oof, oof. So inside the package, you're gonna have the RTA, a bubble glass, which is polycarbonate. Not a huge fan of that at all, but you can see by the size of this, it almost doesn't even look like a glass. It just looks like it's a thing that would go around your tank to protect it and stop it from breaking. You also get two different drip tips. One is going to be a restrictive hit while the other one's gonna be a little bit more wide open. And they are 510 configuration, so if you don't like the drip tip that it comes with, you're able to use your own. But I'm gonna tell you straight up that the drip tip that this thing comes with is absolutely adorable. What? Yeah, it would have been so much cooler if that was black, but yeah, that looks badass. You're also gonna get a Ken size screwdriver and then three different packages. Now inside of these is where all the magic happens. You got your little extra shoelaces, a peripheral pouch, which is gonna have two coils, which is Nichrome 80. Not a huge fan of Nichrome, so I'm not gonna use this. And also you have to keep in mind that anytime I do a review for an RDA or an RTA, I always put my own coils in just because I wanna know what I'm comparing it to. And then in your final accessory pouch, everything that's inside of this is essentially an extra. You have some O-rings, blue, black, red, some silicone jammies, and an extra 510 screw. And then you get a user manual, which is basically a fold out, shows you how to put the coils in and how to wick it up. And it does give you a little bit of a reading material. It's nothing too crazy. All right, so let's get into the RTA. First off, this is it. Go ahead and tell me that that's not the cutest friggin' thing that you've ever seen. I loved the Merlin Mini RTA. Now, if you haven't seen that, I'm just going to post the link in the corner for you to be able to see it. That's where I did the one-handed clap jammy, but I can promise you that this is much cuter 
and oh my god is this adorable. Like, without a doubt. The drip tip that comes with this doesn't really match any part of the stock tank the way that it is with the straight barrel. Now if you look right here and right here you see how it's raised up so when you put the bubble glass on it's not going to be that bad and you can see that that does in fact rhyme and match with this jammy. That's a good thing. On the bottom, it's going to say gear OFRF, a little bit dirty. Airflow adjustment is a little bit tight. Locks open, locks closed. When you want to fill this up, you're just going to grab the top up here, turn it, and there it is. I would have really liked to seen a quicker release, maybe a half turn jammy, just because it's... It's such a small tank, you're going to be taking it off a lot. It would have been really cool if you were able to like slide it or flip it or do something to where it's easier to fill than having to take this off every single time. Mmm. Mmm. So there's a little bit of funky monkeys in there. Not a big deal. It's nothing too crazy. We'll just clean that up. The machining on this is really well done. I don't see any dings, dents, burrs, spurs, or cowboy boots, but I do got some juice on the inside there. Yeah, it looks pretty good. On the chimney, it does say gear, so it does have a little bit of overbranding. It's nothing too ridiculous like, whoa. And then on the other side, it's going to say OFRF. That's the glass that comes on it. Very, very small, very, very low profile. And when you put this one on, doesn't really make it too ridiculous. It's not too crazy, but it's definitely noticeable. The top lip up here is a little bit sharp. You can kind of hear it. So just be careful as to not grabbing that when you are dismantling this to put a build in it or whatever. And there's the deck. The finish of this isn't fantastic. You could see that it does look a little bit cheap and you have these really large flathead screws. This is your positive block right here and negative. So if you really wanted to, you could put one coil here and one coil here. However, that's not gonna allow you to line those wicks up properly with those big ports. So you're gonna to wanna to put a leg here, a leg here, or you could do a counterclockwise where you have a leg up here and a leg down here. I don't know how well you could see that, but there's little holes down there for your airflow. Let's just say hypothetically that this isn't Watofo that designed this. You wanna talk about thinking outside of the box and being meticulous. When you drive these screws out, not only is that your post situation and it's separated by this wall here, you also get this little lip that's on all four of each individual posts. What what that does is as you lock down the coil depending on whether you do it reversed or right side up what's going to happen is it's not going to allow that wire to fall out something i always push when i'm talking about doing reviews on drippers or rtas they do these postless type deals dual core of 28 with 38 on the outside Once again, that is the OFRF RTA. Let's bring it on the top. Back on top of the OFRF gear RTA sitting on top of the Haze Mod. 0.68, 32.5 watts. Let me show you some vapor production. Oh my. This is gonna be hard. I've got a lot of RTAs out of China, a lot. And I don't think it's any secret, but anybody that knows me knows how much I love the OBS Nano Engine. Specifically, the way that it's made, the way that you fill it, the airflow, everything across the board. The aesthetics aren't fantastic, but it's just a really good RTA to come out of China. This bypasses it by a long shot. Almost reminds me of the tank that the SX Mini 
made, but I never got around to doing a review. I think because it was a sub on tank or something. I don't know why, maybe because I thought it was too small. This being as small as it is, holding 3.5 milliliters, the same amount of juice that you could fit in a Typhoon GT3 with the steam tuners whole top section. This is good, man. This is good. I have a lot of pros, so I'm gonna try to dissect this and be as meticulous as possible. If they were to make the glass actually like, I don't wanna say like an oval, but oblong, almost to where it's kind of like the top part of an hourglass, like the size of an egg, basically. If they took that, made that in glass, would make this match up that much better on the top. Could you see that little bit of groove that they got going on there? And that does match a drip tip that this comes with. I just figured that this would look much better with a black drip tip that matched the black mod. The only problem though is the glass doesn't match and that's where you go to the straight barrel, but the straight barrel is only 2.3 mils. Now this is a single coil, so typically you should build it around 0.6 and up if you go anything lower than that this is going to be like a low profile rda your coil is literally okay i'm, I'm this is going to sound so dramatic if you're not able to get the drip tip out once you put it in that section that it sits on the gears almost is like designed for you to put something underneath it and pop that up i i I don't think it was designed for that but wow the coil is probably about seven to eight millimeters away from your mouth I don't know how well you could see that inside there. So it is pretty close and that's what's really gonna give you the flavor. The way that this looks, the way that this hits, the flavor I'm getting out of this across the board, without a doubt, I know I say this every now and then, but this is by far the best RTA that China as a whole country has ever made, without a doubt. I would put this next to the GT3 and the GT4. To give you a better reference, you will see me use this. All I'm gonna plead with is OFRF, whoever you are, make a glass bubble for this. That is it. Even the lips, there's so much things that were thought of when they were making this. Wow, literally, wow. But if you want something on the cheap that works, works well, not difficult to wick just because it's got that recess channel. If I was to rate this RTN a zero to 10, I'm gonna give it a nine to a 9.2. I would go a little bit higher, but that's kind of stretching it right where we're at. There are some cons. The cons that I have are primarily aesthetic with one thing of functionality. In order to fill this, you have to unscrew the top. And because it's so small, you have to unscrew the top a lot to fill it up. They should have made some kind of quick latch, like where you flip it or you pop it up or you do some shit, you swivel it out just to make it that much quicker. Also, the drip tip on the top, not a fan of either of them. They're both like acrylic or some type of PMMA or polycarbonate, kind of cheap. They don't look horrible. They just don't work for me. You can see clearly I'm using the one from the Typhoon on the top of there. Then the last con is the fact that the bubble glass for this is not really glass, it's polycarbonate. I got nothing else. A flathead screws, I guess. They even did the ledges on the post. And then they promote that it's scratch resistant deck. I don't know why that matters. I mean, <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know what you're doing. Why, why do you have a flathead screwdriver that close to where you're figuring out if it scratches up? This is what happens when something is aesthetically pleasing is it gets me in like a bind. Figure something out, Jay, find it out. Ah, uh, they should have used aluminum foil for the airflow. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking saran wrap drip tips. I don't, I don't have anything. Literally, I am tapped. Show you some more vape production. And this is not, I repeat, not designed for mouth to lung. As small as that is, you hear the amount of airflow. I might be going on a limb saying this, but this has more airflow than the OBS Nano Engine and more than the GT4. Of course it's made in China, but listen, if you could find this to pick this up, there should be no reason why you don't buy this if you're into RTAs. Or even if you're in RDAs and you want something that's gonna have a bit of a reservoir on the side. Guys, I've been vaping this. I probably have about 40 hits and look how much juice is in there. It's about half full. The problem you run into is obviously taking a damn top cap off, which is why I'm gonna go 9.2. If you're thinking about getting this, absolutely, without a doubt, pick it up. 
if you could find it. I have a feeling that once these hit the market, you're not going to be able to find this RTA anywhere. Without a doubt, the best RTA to ever come out of China. And it's even better than most high-end RTAs. That's a fact, Jack. And I've kept it real. Have you? Jesus.